Hey everybody, Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting here. I am coach number 33, and y'all, I realize that I have not made the distinction because I originally was coach number 49, but we had this big old website change, and then my number changed to 33. So if you have watched any of my old videos and you notice I intro with my name and my old number, just realize that if you try to search me up under 49, it, you will find somebody else. So um, easiest way to uh, find my website and my um, online store is just to go to www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting. Okay, and that should pop up my page with my picture. Um, of course, if you want to just look it up under my coach number, then it is 33, okay? had to kind of get that out of the way. Um, today I am excited to give you a card tutorial. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Lots going on since um, I came back from Thailand. I had a California trip in there and most recently has been back to school. So I have been like inundated with back to school prep for my kids and back to school teacher gifts for my kids teachers and I've got three kids so that's three different gifts at least three gifts period. Um, so today I have a back to school kind of um, teacher gift type of a card. So um, I actually have a little sneak peek into a project that I made for my little girl's kindergarten teacher. I love it. I can't show it to you yet. I will be able to show it to you September 1st, um, but uh, I can just give you a little sneak peek of it um, after I'm done with the tutorial, so you'll have to stay to the end to watch it or to see it. Um, but today, I'm going to teach you how to create this. It's super easy to make. Um, nothing too terribly technical, but it's just adorable, cute little card that um, hopefully um, the teachers will appreciate. and. Um, I'm going to stick a little gift card in there because we have to appreciate our teachers. They do so much work. You guys know that I was a teacher for years and years and years. What you might not know is that I am not teaching this year. <laughs> I'm taking a little break from that, so ah, a little nervous, but um, I'm excited to see what uh, I have in store, my future has in store. Who knows? I have no idea, but for sure, I'm going to be bringing you more art and more videos. So. You want to see the card? Super cute. It uses our uh, through the year prints. Ta da! Isn't that fun? Super simple, super easy, nothing crazy. You can do this. I want to challenge you, okay, guys? If you have kids, um, Get your teacher, just give them a little note of appreciation. And my kids started school last Wednesday, but I know a lot of people haven't started yet, and some are starting tomorrow, um, and some even later than that. So um, if you still have time, and even if school has already started for you, like for us, I, they started Wednesday and I still hadn't gotten their cards, but I figure that first full week of school, that's a good time to give it. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Again, super easy. And then at the end, I will give you a sneak peek of the fun project that I made for my kindergarten teacher, kindergartner's teacher. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you how to do it. Okay. So let's go over some of the things that you're going to need to create this little card right here. So we're going to start off with an oatmeal cookie card base. And in this instance, it's a um, just a regular four and a quarter by five and a half. But instead of this orientation, I'm doing it as a tenfold. Um, mainly because, well, a couple of reasons. Of course, you know I love my tenfold. Um, but then the pattern paper that we're using with it, that's just kind of the orientation of it. So made sense. And of course, chalkboard, you know, kind of that long um, rectangle there. Um, so there we go, just um, regular card base, oatmeal cookie. Then you're going to get a piece of our black licorice, and this one will eventually be matted um, on top, and the dimensions to this are um, four by five and a quarter. Okay, so four by five and a quarter. 
And then we're going to grab a piece. Um, uh, this is from the September month out of our, so if I can grab the full um, page here, out of our Through the Year prints. Love this pattern paper, so fun. And I'm gonna give you a sneak peek as what I did um, the project for my kinder my uh, little kindergartner's teacher. Um, but this is the, I call it the September paper because You'll notice these all go by month. So January, February, the hearts and the um, flowers, March, April, flowers, May, cute June, then firecrackers, or not firecrackers, uh, yeah, uh, July, August, and then September. And those are the double sided. Then October, November and December. So these are so super cute. I love these and I love the projects that I've made with them. You can make projects with them throughout the year. So again, through the year prints, definitely want those. Um, okay, so the dimensions to this here, um, it's basically uh, four, let's see, this is three and three fourths. So three and three fourths here. And then I believe it's um, five inches across. So three and three fourths and five inches across. So that will be layered on top of that. So in case you'll need those. And then um, from here, I just grabbed a steno pad of paper because come on, it's fun and everyone has paper um, or a steno pad or something like it. And I loved this. Um, now an option, if you just don't have any notebook paper, of course I do because I've got kids. But if you don't, you can kind of create that look by using our notebook page die set. I don't know if you can see that up close. I'm just going to take it off of the, or out of the packaging. But it basically, cre basically creates that same torn edge. There we go. This is the die. So it could create that same look of like the kind of the torn out of a spiral edge. So this is a great option if you are wanting to create um, that look, but you don't have a pad or you want to be able to create it using different kinds of paper, then you, I would highly recommend getting this notebook paper die set. So, so cute. All right, so the paper, you're also gonna need some of our uh, Cranberry Bliss paper and some of our Limeade Splash paper. Now you'll notice these are already die cut and that is because I used our Fall Elements Steel Rule die. And let's see if I can hold that up right there. It, it actually um, has all these on there. So it's got the squirrel, the leaf, the pumpkin, the apple, and the little acorn. And you can use this with our Amaze Machine or our Journey Platinum. So you'll need those. And then you'll notice over here I have an A, and that came out of our steel roll die Journey Serifs. Let's go ahead and hold that up here to the camera view. So this one little, um, I say little, <laughs> big steel roll die cuts all of those letters. And I actually had a little sample of what that actually looks like which is what I did, because when I cut these, I actually go ahead and cut all the letters so that I can have kind of something to just kind of, you know, so that later on I can just kind of pick and choose the letters that I like. And, you know, as in true Janice form, it has disappeared on me. Oh, just kidding, I found it. Here we go. So this is the um, kind of like the negative of it. So it's got all those letters, and the letters are about, I'm gonna go ahead and measure them for you so you can have a good frame of reference, about an inch or so, an inch and a sixteenth, an eighth, inch and an eighth. So you can see that right there. So about an eighth, an inch and an eighth. Um, okay, so that's kind of the size. Now what I did to create the plus was I, again, took a strip of our black licorice and I trimmed it uh, just to, so that I would have an eighth of an inch sliver and please excuse my all of my little shadows so sorry um, so that's an eighth of an inch and basically I cut them I cut two little pieces and a uh, half an inch together and then of course we will um, form it to make a plus sign 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by kind of putting everything together. Um, so what I did with the um, apple, let's go ahead and get that ready, was I did cut two, again, one out of the Limeade Splash, one out of Cranberry Bliss, um, but I trimmed the little top part of the green just kind of straight across so that it was just this little bit here. And I wonder if I should zoom in a wee bit, let's see. There we go, so I cut that one. And of course, I simply just adhered it to the top of the leaf of the apple. And so I'm gonna put a little bit of my craft glue on top of that. And then this will just sit right on top. Perfect. There we go. All right, and of course, as any good scrapper will do, I will not be throwing this away because this is still a good apple, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna put it in my scrap drawer for later use. Now to create the little shine there, I just used one of my handy dandy jelly roll uh, white pens and I drew a little, it's kind of like a little, um, looks like an apostrophe. Um, and so I kind of start from here and I do a little curve and then I just fill it in. And I think I probably draw them varying sizes every time. It's just gonna emulate the, um, like give a little shine, illusion of shine, so to speak. Okay, so we've got the little illusion of shine there. So now my apple is ready. Now let's go ahead and put that plus sign together. And that is pretty simple. Again, just a little dab of glue in the middle and then my crossbar here. And now I've got my plus sign. Doo -doo, ta -da. So he's ready. A plus, woohoo! All right, so really, I told you guys this was so easy. Um, the only other kind of gluing and such that we'll be doing is we'll be adhering our kind of chalkboard onto the black mat. But before we do, I just want to notice something. I'm kind of like, you know, a details girl. I don't know if you noticed that before or not, but I don't know if you can see, but like the paper is white, right? So the, the inside part of the cardstock is white and the back as well. Um, and in order to kind of minimize a kind of unclean look around the edges because of the white kind of um, side there, see that? I'm actually going to ink up the edges in our black licorice. And guys, our ink is 20% off this month, come on. 20% 20 20 off all of our True Color Fusion inks. And these are our single inks, and they are amazing. If you've been waiting to try some, now is the time. Um, I also have a deal going where if you buy five ink pads, I will uh, uh, get, send you a free ATS of your choice. So it's a little extra side deal that I'm doing. Um, so take advantage, ladies and gentlemen, because it is quite a good deal. Especially, again, if you've been waiting to try them out, this is a great way to try them out. So 20% off. Now, it's just our regular ink colors, okay? So not off of our metallics or our Create a Palette. Now, you'll see what I'm doing right now is I was grabbing some ink from the ink pad and then just sponging it around the edges. Again, this just kind of takes away that black, the white and it makes it black. So it just basically, it, I like the look better because it doesn't distract. It makes it look clean cut um, and it will just kind of blend so nicely um, onto that black and it won't, you won't see that white edge anymore. Okay, so what we're gonna do now that we have that there is we are gonna take um, our craft glue or if you are a, um, a runner fan and you don't like the liquid glue, then go with your runner. I, you know, I probably, I don't know, I was about to say, I think I'm just a big fan of our craft glue just because it's so easy and it allows you a little bit of time to kind of play, especially if you're nervous, if you're one of those people who have, have a hard time kind of getting things centered um, easily, 
on a piece of paper or you know sometimes you put it skewed then use the craft glue because it even though it, it is fast drying it does allow for a little bit of shifting whereas that tape runner which I mean of course I love my tape runner but the advantage to the craft glue is that it gives you just a little bit of time to kind of move things and position things and get it just perfect which of course I need to do here because I did not get it just perfect. So you can see I'm trying to kind of get it just right. And again, the beauty of the craft glue is that it's letting me slide it around just a wee bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have our little board. So cute. Okay, so we have our board. And from there, we're gonna kind of move over to, we'll adhere it in a wee bit, but not quite well, not quite yet. We're gonna move over to our little white kind of notebook paper. And I wonder if I should, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little black background so you can see um, what I'm doing here with the notebook paper. There we go. Um, so we're gonna take some of our small foam squares and we're gonna adhere the A to the white, and actually I, I trim our little foam squares in half, one of them in half, and I use the thin, this little skinny part, and I put it down here at the bottom of this A, because I, I don't want him to, I don't want him to lag. And then I'm gonna turn it over, and I just wanna make sure that my white tape doesn't kinda of show, so I will trim that as well just, I mean, just barely, really. And while I'm at it, um, using these amazing scissors, guys, if you don't have a pair of your pro, of these uh, detailed shears, I highly recommend them. You know, they're my favorite. Okay, so I've got the little foam squares there, and we're gonna go ahead and adhere it to kind of the top left portion of the paper. So I, you know, being a school teacher, I try to get it semi straight. Is that semi straight? It's 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 straight enough, I think. <laughs> so there's the A, and then of course our A plus. Use again our craft glue. Just a dot will do. If you are concerned, like you put too much glue, don't worry, it dries clear. Another benefit. And then perfect. Voila, A plus, A plus plus. <laughs> okay, and then the part that I um, was not too fond of, and maybe you're the same, I mean, you don't like your handwriting. Well, I can't stand mine, and I was a teacher. Can you believe that? I know. I mean, when I have to try, I try, but my handwriting is just never good, but we're gonna try anyway. So we're gonna write teacher here. And we're gonna to try to do it as neatly as possible. Do not judge my handwriting. We're gonna to try to do it in this teachery type font. And then of course, a little exclamation. And I went over it twice so that it was bold. It stood out just a little bit. And then of course, I'm gonna come back and give you a little tip to try to fix any errors that you might have made. Of course, if you are super perfectionist, then um, you might just crumble it and start over again. <laughs> but you know, I've learned in my art that I can't be perfectionist. So here's what I'm doing, here's what I fixed. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. I'm taking my white pen because white pen acts as an eraser over black. Yay, Ooh, sorry for the moving camera. Um, and I'm just gonna come in and fix this little area here and try to minimize that. There we go. And looks like I kind of picked up some ink here and here. So a white pen is like your, is like your best friend and you can use this tip and trick rather um, anywhere where you have a white uh, background and I don't know it just it's awesome to have um, a eraser on hand quote unquote, quote unquote eraser okay so I've got a plus teacher 
So let's see, I think we're kind of ready to assemble. Guys, I told you this is so super easy and so super quick. I think I wanna kind of highlight, um, make this just a wee bit uh, more opaque now that it's dry. Sometimes it takes a couple of coats to make it a little whiter. There we go. Okay, love it. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces. So let's go ahead and assemble this puppy. All right, so to start off, we are going to take this little guy and we are literally going to staple it. And let me zoom back out a little bit. There we go. If you'll notice up here, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I've got a couple of staple features there. Come on, bring it in the staples. And our little staple organ is so cute. Okay, it has these little mini staples and they are adorable and they come in a couple of different colors. Um, one is um, just your regular brushed silver, which is what I'll be using today. It's just your regular, you know, silver run of the mill. And then the other is this really beautiful gold. Isn't that fun? So you've got a couple of options there. Now on my original, I used gold and on this one, I'm gonna use silver because I think I want silver. Um, more than I wanted the others. So, okay, I did have it angled. Let me kind of move this up so you can see better. There we go. I did have it at an angle, so a little bit off the page-ish, and maybe like, what, half an inch or so, or a little bit less um, off the side, and I'm gonna do just a couple of staples right there in the corner like I would uh, paper. Uh, stacks of paper in my classroom. Ta-da! Okay, and so I've got that stapled, and from here we take our ribbon, and guys, our black gingham ribbon is awesome. Guys, you get 15 yards for $9.95, and that is quite a deal. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this and wrap it around, no Fobo here. We are going all real. You know, sometimes I do a Fobo, but not this time around. We're just, we're doing it all out, going all out this time. And y'all, I'm searching for my scissors. Here they are, like literally right here. I'm blind. I mean, I actually am blind, but. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tie my bow. And I think I did this where I turned it. So let's do that technique. I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. Of course I can I kind of kind of shift I can shift it, shift it here and there as I like. I'm gonna hold this with one hand, then make my loopy loop. Bring this one around and go through the opening. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> All bows look good after they're primped, guys. So if you like to make a bow and you're like, that's terrible, Janice. Chill out, ladies. You just gotta primp them a little bit, you know? There we go. All right, and then trim. Of course, you wanna trim it so that's not overbearingly long. Okay, so our bow is in place. And then um, I wanted to add in just a little detail. You may not have noticed, but come on, a little nod to the paper clip. So it was a nod to, you know, a little stapler, stapler nod to the paper clip. So I want to go ahead and do that. Um, and I have mine in this little jar here. I kind of mixed them with our photo clips as well. And so you get a whole bunch of these in a little packet for next to nothing, guys. So these are cute. They're perfect for card making because, let me show you a real size paper clip and then our minis. So it's kind of like half the size and they're adorable. Um, and I just took it and I just wanted to make sure that my, my bow is kind of right where I wanted it. And I think I want it right there, it's pretty good. And then I just took a paper clip and clipped it at a diagonal because I wanted to, it to see or it to show Paper clips don't see. Paper clips don't see. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show, okay, then from there I took our large foam squares and that is how I adhered the apple. And this little chica goes right here, 
right on the corner. Voila. So cute, so cute, so cute. And then um, really the only thing left to do is to adhere this to our card panel and then we're done, guys. This is a super, super simple card. It is so cute and I think that um, the boys' teachers are gonna really, really love it. I hope they do. All right, and so we're going to take this and we are going to just let me move this card a little bit so I can get the right orientation. And we're going to try to get it as centered as we possibly can. Ta-da! Beautiful! That's it, guys. That's it. We're done. Done. Teacher card done. Super easy peasy. So fun. So what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you love it? So fun. That fun, so fun. Again, the cute little detail with the paper clip, the little staples, the fun roughed, torn edges there. Little apple, the bow, super fun. Again, super, super easy. I hope you like that. Um, I'm excited to stick a little gift card in there and just really tell those teachers how I'm so thankful um, for what they do because their job is hard. I know. <laughs> uh, you know, they have to put up with our kids. It's a big deal. I'm thankful for that. <laughs> okay, so do you want to see the sneak peek? So there's, uh, uh, oh, let me see, back up a little bit. About a month ago, a few weeks ago, I have even, I was uh, invited to be a part of this collective. Um, and I can't say much about it, but I will show you part of the project, okay? Because technically I'm not supposed to even say anything until September 1st. But I can't help myself, and hopefully they, none of them will watch this and know. Uh, but I'm not going to give it, I'm not giving anything away, okay, in case you are. I'm keeping it safe under wraps, okay? But my project, which is a teacher gift, it's going to my little girly's kindergarten teacher. Um, so excited. I will have to do, I'm going to, I say we'll have to, hello, I'm going to. I'll do a little uh, show and tell later when I'm allowed to. Um, but I'll go ahead and give you a sneak peek. I'll show you the back, the back, that's safe. This is the back. It's safe, I can show you that. I'll show you the side. So you can already tell it's kind of a little book of sorts. And I will show you part of the cover because it's adorable. I love it. So it has to do with this. Da -da -da -da. Okay, is that not fun? Is that not fun? Come on. So cool. Okay, that's all I can show you. That's all I can show you. I know you're like, come on, Janice, hello. All I have to say is stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned. Go to check out my blog, which is just www.janicecreates.com for a couple of sneak, pe sneak peeks or go to my Facebook page, my uh, Janice Whiting Independent Journey Coach for Fun Stampers Journey page. Um, I'll have some sneak peeks there. And just stay tuned because September 1st, this cool thing will be fully revealed and um, I'm excited. So anyway, okay, I think that's it. Don't forget that our ink pads are on sale. So if you want them, take advantage now. If you buy five, I will send you an ATS stamp set for free of your choice. And um, guys, if you are local, local meaning anywhere in Central Texas, you need to come to my event. I am hosting an all day crafting event, September the 23rd. Guys, come on. Um, go to my blog, check out, again, www.janiscreates.com. Go and click on the events tab. There's a little tab up there or a, a link and it says events and it has all the info, okay? I have a venue right next to the Magnolia Silos. Um, you'll have an hour beforehand and like an hour or two afterwards if you want to just go do some of the fun, cute things over there, you can. Um, again, it's all day. It's from 10 to 4 or 5, so it depends on what you choose at the end. Um, you get lunch catered. There'll be snacks. You'll do four make-and-take projects. Um, you will receive a stamp set as well as a few extra goodies. And we have a special guest speaker, 
Mr. Richard Garay himself, that's right, the president and co-founder of Fun Stampers Journey, will be here in Waco visiting me and all of you if you choose to come. So if that's you, if you're in Central Texas, or even if not, I have some people driving in from a couple of other nearby states, right? Um, then come on, I'd love to have you. I, I'm hoping to have a full house. I've got a nice crew so far joining me. I'd love to have more. So go to my blog, www.janicecreates.com. Click on the events to find out all the information. If you want even more specific details, um, you can contact me, put a comment below. Um, I'd be happy to do that for you as well, okay? All right, guys, I think that's it. I always feel like I'm leaving something out, but I really think that's it. Stay tuned for uh, some more card tutorials, maybe some show and tells, maybe some product showcases, and just stay tuned for more because I'm coming back at you. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.